All right, so another episode of whatever. Um, today I want to talk about my journey and how I overcame agoraphobia and how it manifests today and how what you can do uh, to be less judgmental of other people. So let's begin. Today um, I was going to town for a yoga event. Here's my yoga mat. Um, and I found that I don't like being on the subway and on the train uh, because I feel like everyone is so down and I have a very easy time absorbing people's energies so I just feel like shit after a while and then that builds some kind of resentment inside of me because I'm thinking that why did these people have to be like this? Come on, can't they just be happy? But today I realized that well, I already knew this before, but I realized experientially that it is really my responsibility. And the reason why I still feel like this is because I still haven't managed to accept the situation. And the situation is that people are the way that they are. Things are the way that they are right now. And I'm not accepting that. I'm not giving myself to that. I'm not saying, yeah, it's okay, these people are like this now, people are not doing so well, maybe they're stressed. I'm self-centered, I'm thinking that I feel like this, I mean, I just wanna, I don't wanna be here. So one way to do this is to move your attention uh, from yourself to other people. And I call that decenteredness. And that's one of the key elements of overcoming agoraphobia. Um, is basically you just let go of your own inner dialogue. You put it down. You put down the dialogue that says, why do people do this all the time to me? Why do I feel like this? And why can't they be like that? And instead, you look around you at the people around you and you try to put yourself in their shoes and switch perspective and you can think you know oh what's going on in this person's life maybe heading to work um, on a deeper level you can even think that everyone is suffering in the same way that you are and there's this practice that I do which is like it's called just like me when I see someone who's suffering or when I see someone I don't like, I try to understand what it is that I don't like about myself that I see within them. So I say, I find something within them that is the same as what I have or has, have had. And I say, just like me. Just like me, this person is angry today. And I used to be a really angry person as well. So. Luckily, I'm not anymore. Just like me, this person can be happy. And a lot of these things have to do with accepting other people as they are, like I said. And a way to do that is not only to uh, shift your perspective and be compassionate, you know, um, try to imagine their perspective. But also that you realize that that you realize that everyone is doing the best that they can with what they have at any given moment. For example, there was this woman today on the train who was 
as soon as I got on the train, she was talking on her phone. She was really stressed and she was like, calm down, hey, calm down. And then she said, aren't you gonna ask how it went today? <laughs> and I just thought that was such an absurd question. Like, aren't you gonna ask? So she was expecting someone else to do something. That, you know, and I was like, oh my God, why? Um, but now that I look back on it, I can accept that and I can forgive her, obviously. And I can see that that it might as well have been me, right? It might as well have been me there. So those are just a few ways in which we can, uh, a few mental tools that we can use to overcome agoraphobia. And the first is to switch perspective from yourself. Uh, curiously think about what other people may be experiencing, put yourself in their shoes, uh, drop your own dialogue. And secondly, to feel compassion for others by thinking that just like me, put yourself in their shoes by realizing that maybe you were there at some point or maybe um, they are exactly the same as you are in some way, right? And on a more fundamental level, number three is that we can think that everyone is suffering in some way. And just like us, all living beings are suffering. Just like us, all li living beings just want to be happy. And so what we can do is really just roll with that and appreciate the way that things are. Appreciate the beauty of everyday life. This is really beautiful, like this view and everything. And I'm just out here. We are here in nature, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. And thank you for watching.